Lance Lynn is back on the mound for the White Sox. I am a Lance Lynn enthusiast as well as a Shady Rays enthusiast, and they are bringing you this breakdown. So this is his first start of the season. was on the injured list. And in case you need to know a little bit about Lance Lynn, he's pretty fiery on the mound. We'll just scream at everybody, especially himself. And then he's funny in his post-game press conferences. My hat took the brunt of it. Where did it get you? My hat. Can you point to the area? I mean, on the hat. On my hat. Did it hurt? No, hit the hat. Well, a hat isn't a protective uh, device unless you Yeah, it a... is. Why would we wear it if it wasn't? No, that's a helmet. Oh. Oh. So we're in the second inning and batting for the Tigers is Cody Clemens, and he does not have a major league hit yet searching for one. That's outside, and that is hit into the outfield for a single so he's going to be fired up his first big league hit everybody's excited for him miggy's doing a little cha 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 in the dugout and they're going to keep the ball he's going to get to keep that put it on the you know mantle i don't know what he does with it but a whole little assembly line here of getting that ball into the proper hands Trainer usually gets it because they have tape and they mark it up and they say that's his first hit and everyone's excited and they're saying congratulations. He says thank you. I appreciate that. Except Lance Lynn. He's not too fired up about this because he doesn't really understand what happened. Why are we shifting on a guy who doesn't even have a hit? How do we know where to play him? I induced a routine ground out and we're just leaving that open? What's that about? Next up is Tucker Barnhart, and that two-seamer comes back into the zone. That cutter goes away. One and one. Two and one outside. That one's fouled back. Two and two up the middle. Potential double play ball if they were shifting perfectly, but no, that's it's a hit most of the times, I would guess. And Lance like, damn, another kind of not that hard hit ball for a hit. This stinks. Next batter, first pitch. That's in the dirt. Next pitch, fouled away. One and one now in play. He's going to get the double play he wants, but the first guy goes to third base. Gets the two outs. Happy about it. Wiping the sweat away. Castro's up. Cutter inside. One and oh. And then that's just fought off the hands and is going to find grass, which scores the first run. And Lance Lynn's like, are you kidding me? Another blue pit. A shift beater, a shift beater, a blue pit. This stinks. Not having any fun. And people are interpreting all that body language as he's mad at the field or the shift. And maybe he is. I mean, we really don't know. We just got to take people's words for it. But he's either mad at himself or giving up soft contact or mad at the shift. So the third base coach, Joe, comes over and he says, hey, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Can't be showing up your fielders like that. Can't be showing up your coaches like that. You know, we shift with good intent. Lance Lynn says, shut up. You don't know why I'm mad. Shut up. I'm mad because I'm not making my pitches. Don't give a shit about that. Maybe that's what he's saying. He says, shut up. Leave me alone. He says, go fucking coach third and shut the fuck up. I'm giving up fucking hits. I'm fucking saying the same thing, okay? Do it. Fucking pack a lunch. <laughs> I really think that's what he says there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the coach says we'll talk about this later. So he responds... <laughs> he responds, uh, maybe coach is like, well, I'm going to talk to you about this later. And he says, do it. Fucking pack a lunch. I really, it really looks like that's what he says, but I, I don't really know. And then it looks like he mutters like a stupid fucking da, 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 da. Tony LaRusso looking on coach yelling at a player and a little tiff. He says he was mad at himself because he made a horse manure pitch. A lot of guys thought it was because of positioning. I could read his lips. He was mad because he didn't make the pitch. Joe cleared it up, and then we moved on. He's never going to blame a coach. You talk about accountability, he's one of the best. Now, Lance Lynn got asked about it after the game, and he had a completely different story. Yeah, he was trying to get me going. Uh, he kept telling me that, like, filet is better than ribeye. I'm more of a ribeye and potatoes guy. He's a filet and, like, Caesar salad, so I just told him he was wrong. And then he went back to the coaching third. <laughs> and the third base coach was like, well, hold up, wait a minute. First things first, I'm a pescatarian, so I don't eat meat. I don't eat ribeye or filet. I eat fish. And that's the miscommunication part. That's what I assumed. And it was more or less about him not making pitches. He wasn't making pitches. He was leaving balls in the middle of the zone. And that's what he was feeling internally. It was a miscommunication between us. And we took care of it. We hugged each other. 
I was thinking something else that he was thinking internally and mentally. And we hugged it out and we're good. And that's the story of the time when a kid who doesn't have a big league hit at all beat the shift on a routine ground out. And Lance Lynn was probably a little frustrated about it. Maybe he was frustrated at himself. Maybe he wasn't frustrated at all. Maybe it was about steak. Maybe it was about this awesome deal Shady Rays is giving our audience. $20 off each pair of premium polarized sunglasses at ShadyRays.com with the code JOMBOY20. If you lose them, if they break, they replace them. Look good this summer. Be cool. Have fun. Go Lance Lynn. I think White Sox fans are sneakily like just excited that there's some intensity no matter which way it went. 